it is time for our series class act. I love Mondays for this reason. <laughs> our Amanda Starantino joining us live to show us around Warren oh. High School in Downey. Oh, wow. wow. Very active out there. It is very active and we are watching the cheerleaders right now and they are ready to bring some action for us. We have the cheerleaders with us. Can you tell us what the bears are all about girls? Hi, so yes, the Bears, as you can see, we're the Bears Steelers, you already know. It's a grand nation. Have you guys heard of the cave? So the cave is right outside. You know, that's what the I Bears think we're going to see the cave next. Yes, that's so exciting. Yeah, we are like the Bear Nation, you know? Yeah. I love it. And what do you guys love about being part of the Bears? Um, I love our cheer team and the support that we get from our faculty and administration. We're actually CIF regional champions. Yes. We yeah. won last year and we're hoping to take the title. And we're still league champions also. Oh, we love it. All right, let's see that cheer one more time, guys. All right. <laughs> All right, we got more to show you from the Bears here at Warren High School coming up. I love it. The Bears are in the cave. All right, Amanda, thank you. It's time for our class act when we feature SoCal schools and what makes them unique. Today, let's take you to Warren High School in Downey. <laughs> Students there have a lot to celebrate. KCAL News reporter Amanda Sarantino is live there to show us around. And wow, this is one of the most active groups of students we've <laughs> ever seen, Amanda. It is so early on a Monday morning, but these kids are bringing it here at Warren High School. I know that you guys were just talking about the fog. It's pretty foggy out here, but that has not stopped these kids from playing and just repping their mascot of being the Bears. So we're looking at the flag football team here. This is also middle school and high school. So the head coach here is going to tell us a little bit about this program that's pretty new to this area. So what's going on here? Um, you know, this is just a great opportunity. Our girls have been able to, you know, start playing flag football, and it's a new sport for many of them. And you know, they've just been a, doing a great job just learning the sport and um, just taking it and running with it. Yeah, and they really are, and they're awesome at playing too. So we have some of the students here and some of the athletes as well. So you guys have gotten the opportunity because you're a middle school, right? What do you love about this opportunity? Um, I just like being able to meet new people and going out and playing a sport. Yeah, what about you? Um, I enjoyed like the experience and learning a new sport. Yeah. Okay. And you can see these uh, students are really getting this opportunity and they're able to feed into the high school level as well. So you are watching this flag football. This is new for the state pretty much here and you can see this play here. I hear um, it's a pretty cool when they do a touchdown. That's what we're seeing right here. So much action. Everybody gets involved here. They're all about the cave. I mean, they got the music going. They got the lights going as well. I'm going to talk to another one of these student athletes. All right. So what do you love about flag football here? I love the environment, like all the girls are so amazing and like our coaches are like, they're just amazing to us. Yeah. And you just started playing, right? Yeah, I started playing last year. Last year was my first year playing here. Okay, and so why should girls try out flag football? It's just such a fun sport to play, like this is the best sport I've ever played. Like from all the sports I've played so far, this is probably like my favorite because it's so fun, like all the energy, it's so positive, like all the girls, it's just really nice. And you get a good mix, too, because it's not just high school, it's middle school, too. So you get to work with those girls. Yeah, it's like, I, this is our first year, like, or like, this is our second year playing, but this is the girls' first year in middle school. Like, the sport is getting very, like, big this year. And I'm so glad that these girls have the opportunity now to play in middle school. Awesome. So you can see all these students have so many different ways to get involved. Look at all those cheerleaders over there. And we have a JROTC going as well. We're going to be learning a lot more about Warren High School throughout the morning. But you guys, the energy here, it is unreal. Back to you guys. It, it is. And I love to see the, the football being played. This is so fun. Oh, I know. I want a little bit of that energy oh, no. early in the morning. <laughs> Amanda, thank you. <laughs> Monday. So Amanda Sarantino is live in Downey with this morning's class act and a lot of energy out there, Amanda. There has been so much energy this morning. No lack of energy and excitement here at Warren High School. And we have all these amazing students, but why not add some firefighters to it as well? They're starting a new program here, a fire science educational program that's coming to the school next year. Assistant Chief Anthony Hildebrand telling a little about it. You guys are associated with this and helping create the programming. Why put this into schools now? I think putting it into schools is so important because we need to get young people involved and having them find a career in, in the fire service with an EMT and a fire science background is going to be so beneficial for their future. Absolutely. And Victoria was telling me she wants to be an EMT, so she's really looking forward to this and having this come to the school. So what are you excited to learn about? Um, I'm excited just to introduce myself into the whole medical field and it's it, like excited how it's going to help my future. 
Just one more thing, making Warren High School as great as it is. We have so much more to show you in class act, but these students, I mean, you don't need any coffee this morning. <laughs> well, if you didn't set the alarm, but you had the TV on. I'm sure you're awake now. <laughs> Amanda, thank you. It's mm -hmm. time now for our series Class Act, where we feature local schools and what makes them unique. Today, Amanda Sarantino is taking us to Warren High School in Downey. And Amanda, the students there have a lot to celebrate. This school has so much going on here. I mean, let's just take one loop around. You got the band. You have Color Guard. You have Mariachi. You have Junior ROTC. You also have... Um, Folklorico, we can see the cheerleaders back there, the student section as well. It just does not end here. And the band actually has a lot to celebrate. The band is very well known in this community. You guys just got some big awards. Um, I think it's a great opportunity because we have not won. And uh, what happened this weekend for you guys? So we recently just got first place uh, in our division. We're currently second place in 3A division for SESB away in all of SoCal. This is Micah and Sophia. So the band, a big part of this school here. Assistant Principal Joseph Ortiz, you have all these different programs so students can really get involved, right? Yes, absolutely. It's such a great place to be. Inclusivity is not a buzzword here in Downey Unified or at Warren High School. We really have these programs in place to include all of our students, from our folklorico herencia to our mariachi to our JROTC and our band. And these three programs right here are some of the new ones. Fairly new programs, Folklorico Herencia. This is the first year of their program. They have 36 plus members. Our mariachi program is currently in their third year, ranging from grades six to 12. They serve beginning, intermediate, and advanced students. Um, these programs are not only involved in our school, they're involved citywide, right? So they're really, really a staple in our community and really reflective of our community population. Okay, and so we're going to talk to JROTC over here. This is Iris, and uh, this is a brand new program. Why did you get involved in this? I got involved with JROTC uh, at first as a physical aspect. I wanted to get fit, but on my way of learning JROTC, I became a better leader and just more comfortable as myself. Amazing. So this is Iris with that program here, and now we have these beautiful dancers. Let's see a little bit of what they're about. I'm going to meet my new friend Isabella as she's dancing. And Isabella, <laughs> why did you join this group? Um, I actually helped started this as a club, and then after it got made it into a folklorico class. Folklorico class is the first year we have this class. It's the first folklorico class in um, Downey Unified. So we're really excited that we are able to experience this new passion and I'm really really happy that I get to bring this to the school and just help everybody express their Hispanic culture. Absolutely and it's so beautiful to watch. I always love watching girls dance. You keep dancing and then of course we have our mariachi over here, another Isabella, another friend I made this morning. And what makes this class, uh, this band so special? Um, that it involves all the schools from the district including grades from 6 through 12 and we have all of them together so it's, we get to make new friends that we didn't know we would meet before. Amazing. I mean, so many things to pick from. Isabella, thank you so much. Just enjoy this music this morning. There's a place for everyone here at Warren High School, home of the Bears and all these amazing kids, too. Back to you guys. They sound great. I wish we could just stay and listen to them all morning. Amanda, <laughs> thank you. So we want to see what Amanda Sorrentino has for us at Warren High School this morning. Oh, you've been in such loud places, but this seems a little bit quieter. I know they were worried that this is going to be too loud. I was like, uh-uh, your kids brought it all morning long. We are now checking out the robotics team. And these robots, I cannot believe these students built these things. I can barely get my toaster to work, so <laughs> I am so impressed. This is now their second year of having this robotics team here at Warren High School. And there's so many kids involved. And this is part of their programming for energy, uh, uh, engineering and robotics. So we have two students with us, Amy and Annabelle. Tell us about your guys' team. Yeah, so we're the FRC team, the Warren Warbots, and the robots you see there are actually made in-house. Um, we're able to create designs to be able to manufacture the parts, assemble it, program it, and do outreach to be competition ready. So this gives us the skills we need to be ready for our STEM careers. So impressive what you guys are doing here, and you compete as well. Yeah, we compete in season and off season. 
incredible. I am very, very impressed. I need you guys to come over and help me with a few things at my house. Uh, we have so much more to show you here at Warren High School. A lot more programs going on, but for now, um, check out this robot's name is Link, you guys, and definitely quite the personality. <laughs> It's time for our class act when we feature SoCal schools and what makes them unique. Today, our Amanda Sorrentino is live at Warren High School in Downey, where they have just given you so many great places to visit in this school. We have been all over the place at Warren High School, and now we're not even talking high school. We're talking college now because these students are all enrolled in dual enrollment. It's a program here where they're taking college credit classes and getting really set up. So we have Vera, Caitlin, and Andrea here with us, and they're so set up. Get this. By the time they graduate, they will have a year and a half worth of college classes already done. So why is this so important for you to be a part of? It's important because it allows us to get ahead in a college career and, and is, it, as well. yeah, is it hard to balance with high school classes too no it is not it actually is in border to our schedules so i actually never have stepped on cerritos college campus whatsoever my professors come to warren and they and i come to school basically Amazing. and we have some of those professors here too in this group so they have college professors coming to campus where these students are learning these classes which is just great so we have the principal and the coordinator here with us tell us a little bit more about this dual enrollment program so we're really fortunate because we have a schedule where we can um, build classes into the school day so we have um, 20 college courses and then an additional six for our early college students um, so what it does it gives everyone access you don't have to come early or stay late you can do it you can build it into your schedule so it really is an access issue. Um, we have 470 students in college classes, um, which, is, which is really incredible. And our largest group is our freshman class. We have 19% of our freshmen in a college class. And you have all different types of classes going on here. We're looking at a law class right here with a college professor teaching them. What else do we have? Um, so we have everything from English 100 and English 103, which are requirements. Um, and we have anthropology, sociology, Africana studies. A little uh, bit of everything. Everything. And it really allows them to complete almost all of their general education courses and it's transferable to the Cal States and the UC uh, the UCs so and this is open for all students at 3.0 or above right and good attendance yeah in fact we have we really encourage them to start the summer before they start high school their eighth grade summer and each summer we've had over 100 students that complete it so they're literally completing college classes before they even take their first high school class Amazing. And you can see all these kids hard at work here. So we have our students that are about to graduate this year. We have a lot of freshmen here as well that we uh, mentioned. So what are you guys working on over here? Well, I'm currently reading our um, comms book and we're learning about like nonverbal communication. So it's really interesting. And you really just got started with this as freshmen. So why is it so important for you to take these classes? This actually helps us save a lot of time and money. These classes are transferable to UCs and Cal State, so it helps save on tuition and just to get ahead. Yeah, these students are really getting set up here at Warren High School. Just another great feature that this school offers to their students right here in Downey. Back to you guys.